So this week, I'm going to talk about a couple of um, very, very different uh, guilds that uh, exist within the Oblivion Order. Uh, one being the Draconians, uh, one of my absolute favourites. Uh, loads of loads of good stuff to write about with the Draconians because they're, they're kind of explorers and adventurers. Uh, and the second one, a little bit more kind of... Um, what's the word secret i suppose uh, are the scriptorians who are the keepers of the yeah. of the texts as it, uh, they they look after the books they look after the kind of um the libraries uh, of 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 the order beginning with the scriptorians we uh, we find uh, our first scriptorian in caitlin we meet her in a library she works a lot of them do work in libraries um josh bumps into her while he's um digging around trying to find out more about world war 2 uh, where he's just been, a um, bit of a spoiler. Uh, so he's trying to work out what the hell just happened um, to history. And um, they like working uh, with text. Scriptorians are very much uh, lovers of books and um, and hidden knowledge. Uh, they decrypt languages, ancient languages. They're very good at, um, at using these books um, to kind of move back through history. They're a great way um, to actually kind of uh, pinpoint uh, an event in time uh, and so they're very useful for traveling back into the past and so the scriptorians are effectively the curators uh, of, of, of the keys to history in a way. Um, they have this massive vast library um, that they uh, essentially can get to from a shed at the bottom of uh, Caitlin's garden. Uh, the scriptorians are very insular, um, they, they, they spend a lot of time on their own, um, obviously very kind of bookish uh, they have a, this such a vast library that they have to use kind of trapeze wires and um, and kind of um, mechanics to get themselves up to the higher level shelves. Um, they spend a lot of time kind of in these kind of strange acrobatic uh, dances across the uh, if you like the higher stacks um, while they're indexing uh, indexing their collection, which is absolutely vast it's literally like every book that's ever been written um and lots that have obviously disappeared they are the curators of the past they spend a huge amount of time um looking after and and, and finding old texts and generally um they're not really party animals they spend a lot of time just sitting around reading books on the other hand, the Draconians are one of the more interesting guilds for me personally in terms of um, what I've enjoyed writing in the book so far, mainly because they're more of the explorer, kind of navigator, um, the the adventurers, if you like, uh, within the order. They go into the uh, dark places, they go into the forgotten parts of history, they kind of go off-grid quite a lot. Um, they have some really, really interesting tools um they do a lot of stuff more probably in the kind of um in terms of like monster hunting uh, they deal with um breaches which is obviously where um uh, monsters break through um from the outside of the time continuum so they really have one of those kind of jobs that's a little bit kind of like the um night's watch from game of thrones they obviously are protectors in some ways so they're more like ancient explorers they're, they're, they're kind of you know they've got spaces in the map if you think of time as a map um, there are lots of parts of history that we don't really know a lot about and so that's their that's their role is that they're going back through time uh, exploring these new areas documenting it mapping it uh, and obviously bumping into some really interesting and slightly uh, dangerous um, things in the past they're, they're also responsible for any breaches so should um, something break through the time continuum this kind of bubble in which um, in which time is kind of held um, they are they're the ones that deal with the monsters that literally break through so the draconians are probably um, one of the most um, exciting roles that you could have within the order I think they're they're without doubt the um, got the most one of the most dangerous jobs uh, and definitely something that you wouldn't want um, to sign up for um, if you were a scriptorian, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, interesting uh, characters, um, lots of stuff going on in the second book about the Draconians, so hoping that you'll find um, that quite uh, quite engaging, quite a good read. I'm really enjoying writing that at the moment, although uh, it's a little bit behind. So um, yeah, that's the Draconians. Cheers. Bye.